So now we're going to take a look at the state notifier provider inshallah and you should use this one if you have a little bit more complex uh, data and uh, yeah let's dig into it. So the state notifier provider works with a state notifier so let's create a new class uh, let's call it flower notifier extends a fire that as type we can use that it is a list of string so so far i have inserted a new variable called index and i have inserted a new list called flower list that it has a list of flowers this index inshallah we will use it to go through all the values inside this index and we'll see that in a minute so now let's create our fire oh, let's call it super so with super we are going to is expose the state of our uh, current list and uh, at the beginning is empty so we are going to pass to it an empty state when you call the flower notifier you will get this value so you don't have to call uh, the state property as before and uh, yeah now let's create a new function add new that indicates uh, add a new flower one of these for example since this is a string so uh, we want a string uh, new flower so now our data is inside the state so uh, we cannot do state that add since uh, it is immutable so we should use something like state and then we want to use the, the structuring uh, thing to uh, the structure our uh, present values and then we want to insert our new flower so for those who don't know this syntax here basically it gets all the data inside uh, here and it it put it uh, inside our new created array so in this way it, it is like if we are creating a new array so if we have all this data here and uh, uh, we use this syntax here it is like if we are uh, obviously inside another array it is like if we say um, to the application to the program to flutter that we want to add inside this new array all the single values of this one so it in the new array it will do something like this this and this since here we are using the state it will uh, put all the present ones at the moment plus the new flower for example if we are if this is the new flower here other than the current state it will add the new flower just right here and we will have a new array with the values uh, you will understand this in a moment so now we have just created our state notifier it is time to create our provider for this so final uh, flower provider so it's simple like this state notifier provider and as before reference and we want to call flower, uh, flower notifier and we want to execute it so now we have our provider and um, basically we want to go right here and we want to get our values let's create a final variable flowers equal watch as before 
our provider and here we will have our flowers so since this is a column and uh, we want a column to view our single flowers uh, we cannot print them just like here because they are strings it is a list of strings so what we should do is that we should transform them to a, a list of widgets to make things clean uh, let's create a new function that we will call inside here and uh, it will do this job for us so the function will be uh, I don't know transform okay flowers we are passing the flowers to this function here and let's create our function here is a list of widget equal like this okay here we are going to return uh, our flowers we will use the map function to create our uh, our new list with the current value so we can iterate on all the flowers and here we want the single flower and we want to create a new text Ah, and here we should specify that is widget. Um, okay, so text uh, with the flower, and we have done. Now let's add the style. Style, blah, blah, blah. On size to 70. Okay. So, okay, you are good. Now, the last thing is to transform it to a list, to list, okay. Now we are good to go. So as you can see, we use map to go through all the flowers and the map it will return a new iterable this iterable will contain all the flowers we, we will go uh, inside the single flower and uh, we will uh, return back a new text widget with the current flower with a font size of 17 and then our iterable we will transform it into a list with the two lists and all our uh, list of widget we will uh, return them back here so at the end here we will have a list of widgets so that's it now we should save okay let's start for everything seems uh, good now the thing that we want to do is that we want that when we press this button we want to insert each of these flowers inside our state notifier using our flower provider so this is the reason why we have this function here uh, uh, that i have explained before so now um, let's do it context that read as i said before and uh, now here uh, we want to call as before the flower provider and inside it and uh, now we as i said before we don't have the state uh, like the state provider but we have directly our state it will pass it right here so we can uh, directly call add new and we can add our flower but we want to do a simple check um, we want to check that the index that we are uh, going through is less uh, if it is uh, more or equal the flower list that length it will return so in this way if the index it is more than 
this one is it is equal or more than this one it will return and it will not execute this function uh, after this we will do index plus plus now we have our list okay uh so let me re-explain this part for people that doesn't know um so in this way we are seeing if the index is higher or equal this one since in every time we press we are incrementing the index so here it will be uh, one two three four five and each time it will take one of these values and add it into our state notifier so the first time it will add this one then this then this then this etc so this is the reason why we have used this logic here so if the index is more or equal to this one it will return without adding nothing and if it is not it will uh, go into the flower provider and use this method add new here to add our new flower and the new flower is taken uh, from the flower list uh, with the current index so the first time it is zero so we are getting this value here and then uh, we increment the index and the second time that we will press it will be this one etc etc so so yeah that's it and um as I said before, let me explain this part here. Um, here, the state it will be uh, the state means the current state of the notifier. This one here, and uh, every time that we will use add new, it will take the current flowers that we have. It will it will destructor them and uh, in a new array, and it will add. A new flower to them so for example if we are uh, here and we have uh, uh, inside the state we have only these two here at the moment it it will do something like this this is the state for example now we are at this point here we're adding this flower so that means that it is adding this flower and here it will be something like, like this and yeah that's it i hope that it is clear now let's run it and see if it is working it is not working uh, the same problem that i had before and i think a lot of people will have this is because the riverport package did a new important and uh, breaking change in some things for example the state notifier provider you don't have to call directly the flower provider but you must call the flower provider notifier so i mean i could edit the video and add it before and make things look that everything's work worked fine but uh on purpose i put this error so you may understand yeah now let's save let's restart now if we tap here as you can see it is adding our flower and if we tap again etc until it will add all the flowers so now it has finished it has stopped so yeah the most important thing is that you must use notifier or it will create problems it will not work this is the migration of the river pod package on the new version so that's it for this video thank you so much consider to subscribe if you like the content if you want other things like this let me know in the comment section uh, and that's it so thank you so much for watching bye